Hey folks, this is Vagrant. Welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West. In the last video, we did things, <laughs> as we always do. And now, I believe, I believe, very excitingly, we're actually going to go do the main quest, which is pretty cool. Um, well, I said we're going to do the main quest, we're going to walk towards the main quest, and they're not quite the same thing. So, I'm going to try to go here. Can I go there? Yeah. I'm just going to head on along there, but we're going to pick up campfires and quests and all that kind of doohickey along the way. But very exciting. I'm very curious what the game does post. I mean, it's weird. In a way, I feel like this has been a really short game so far. I mean, I've only done one of the main quests, and God knows how long it's going to take after that. And I was about to say, you know, I assume after these three, there's quite a lot of game left. This is our, what, 30 something? I'm hours and hours and hours into the game, but for some reason it feels like I've only just started, in a way. I don't know, that's, that's quite strange. I never really picked up on that. I'm not really sure why that's the case, to be honest. Maybe because I feel like my character has such a long way to go in terms of strength. I feel like the, uh, Buffs or the um, I mean, I guess I, I say that but then I look at my skill build and it's like oh well I've got everything <laughs> But when I look at my gear examples, for example, I don't feel particularly strong. We haven't done many cauldrons. We've only done two cauldrons really I'm just murdering every peccary on the planet That's what I was put on this planet to do. What can I say? I really like this. This is the transition from the you know the forest to the to the desert and just slowly gets there Less and less foliage over time until you're kind of there. We don't really know, so. It's cool. What is that? Peccary must die. <laughs> All... I'm not interested in hunting anything else now, just peccaries. I hear a voice. Looking for me? What's going on? What is it? The Outlander's here! The Outlander's here! No. That's me, I'm the Outlander! Wait, 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 wait. Don't do Hey, I'm busy! Oi! Stop it! There we go. Right, now we can get to work. You'll suffer for that. What a waste. Hi, <laughs> buddy. Whoa, 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 what's all this? That may look. Alright. <laughs> this is a random bunch of rebels, really. And nobody fighting them. Were they just were they waiting for me? That's the impression I've got. Anywho, let's grab some health items and then move on. I mean it's easy XP at the end of the day. Why would you not take it? Anyways, I'm going to talk about myself. So, frustrating day today. I got my, I mentioned that I was getting, a, I've mentioned quite a few times, I'm getting a new weight set, right? And they all arrived today, 100 kilograms worth of bumper plates. I've actually ordered 150 kilograms, but uh, I have to wait for the 25s to get here, because I only ordered those recently. And the only thing that didn't arrive, the only thing that didn't arrive is the freaking bar itself. The one thing you need over all the others. The bar itself didn't arrive. It's very sad. Um, I did get in touch with them to ask, you know, why, and basically the manufacturer in China did not send over the correct finish. Basically, they, they do a blah blah blah, and they do three different finishes. They do an all black, do do an all chrome, and they do a black and chrome. And I ordered the black and chrome because I thought that looked the coolest, and that's the one that they didn't get delivered. Oh, so they're sweating everywhere. All right, hello, it's a bit much. So they. So basically, I got in touch and said, yeah, okay, we didn't get it, but we can send you one of the others. So they're going to send a, a full black one, the Stealth Edition. 
Oops, a dizzy. But uh, it means I have to wait, like, days again. <laughs> Second time around, season finale. The way back. After a production hiatus, the long-awaited season finale is upon us. As tensions between Gracie and her sister Amy reach a boiling point, Matthias and Justin try to reconnect the family with a trip down memory lane. But Gracie has a startling confession about the day she was lost in the typhoon. One that will change the Ramos family forever. Available on all platforms, starting... Data corrupted. Anyways, so very frustrating day for me. I was very excited to get started on the bar, the fancy bar, but twas not to be, so I'll have to do leg day on the old bar. I'm hoping because they're only sending a bar, it'll be here very quickly, and then I'm hoping the 25s will be here soon, which means we can go up to 170 kilograms in weight, which is a pretty obnoxious amount of weight, really, so um, that's going to last us. I think I predicted, let me, let me wear this out, that should last us... Four months, something like that. Assuming linear progression. Should be able to override scrunchers now. But do I care to do that? Not really. The little baby machines. Look at it falling over. That's it. Cruise come along. Oh, oh the little baby machines! I didn't really want to kill these guys. They're not. I don't really think they're worth my time. But here we are. Oh, you cheeky little blighter! Learn your place, borrower. Anyways, so yeah, a little frustrated. I was very excited to use the new bar. Um, the problem I have is my current bar, as I think I've mentioned, it's really only specced to go up to maybe 180 pounds, something like that. Now, we're not quite there yet, but it's very, very close. I did, um, what did I do in deadlift? I did 75 kilograms on deadlift this week. Oops, it is it. 75 kilograms is... fifteen hundred sixty-five pounds? Is that maths? I think that's maths. It's something like that. It's around 165 pounds, which means we're very, very close to what this bar can take without beginning to deform and bend and get all weird about it, so... It's time to move on. Nice. I will stop annoying you about <laughs> about weights and plates and such. It's just, I've, I've mentioned it before, but it's become such a big part of my life that it's hard for me to not talk about every now and again. You know, it's something that takes up 15 hours of my week, I would say. Well, maybe not quite. Probably about 12 hours a week is spent. If you include, like, having to fill in the uh, spreadsheet that I run and planning out the next weights and all that kind of jazz, probably 13, 14. And, and then general, if you want to throw in just general research and planning things and probably 15, 16 hours a week is spent on it at the moment. It's just become such a huge part of my life. And the thing is, it never was. I never cared about exercise. I always, whenever I try to work out, this is actually, this is why I'm going to talk about this, because this could be important for people. If you've always wanted to, like, start working out, right, or getting a little bit fitter, and I, I say this from a position of absolutely no expertise. I, I say this as someone who is, you know, I'm only on week eight at the end of the day into my into my journey, which I hate deeply as a term. Um, but if you wanted to get started and you've always struggled, I would suggest just trying different things. I mean, I always used to try to jog, run, or whatever. You know, it, it would always be cardio. Because people have this perception that cardio is... This is beautiful, by the way. People have this perception that cardio is the one that you should do for getting fitter, which is kind of nonsense. It's good for cardiovascular, obviously. I'm not saying you shouldn't do cardio. I'm just saying there are other things that are viable as well. You should really do everything. But if you want, I just recommend, you know, try lifting. Maybe you'll enjoy it. Poseidon shouldn't be far. Oh, yeah. Wow, I was, I was kind of expecting this to be much more impressive, if I'm honest. 
I mean, it makes sense. Like, it's just been absolutely destroyed. I didn't think it'd be quite this destroyed, if I'm honest. That's okay. Viva Las Vegas. You saw nothing. Oh, I needed that whistle back. Now I'm gonna have to find another one. Why did I need that whistle back? Do I need whistle backs for some reason? It's not gonna take much damage from fire. No. I think it's literally because she wants to. She wants to ride it. But I don't care about that. We need to override that bristleback. Why? I'm gonna go find a new one. You know what? I'll just I'll override the bloody bristleback. My god. Is that because I set you on aggressive? <laughs> Does it mean you're gonna go wild? Probably. That was odd. Why was she so intent on overriding a bristle bag? I actually don't have the answer to that. All right, Las Vegas. That is pretty cool. I said this is where I'd find Poseidon, but the ruins out here are exposed to the elements. But a lot of them are buried in the sand. <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> Poseidon is underground. If that's true. I might be able to find a way down through one of these structures. It's, it's hyper aggressive, isn't it? It literally feels like it's running around desperately trying to find something to attack. You okay, pal? You'll be okay. Don't worry about it. I got you back. I shall call you. You're fiery. What's fiery? Uh, Nando's. <laughs> well, not really fiery, is it, to be fair, but I shall call you Nando's anyway. Nando. It's called Nando. Nando pig. One Nando. Nando. Water's <laughs> pouring out of that building. Poseidon's doing? Ah. That's what I was looking for the question mark, frankly. But, uh, yep, yeah, sure. Okay. Tower of Tears. Yeah, okay. I mean, th this is pretty cool. It's very, very, obviously. <laughs> it's a goddamn Nando. It's obviously very, 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 uh, uh, destroyed over time, but. It is pretty cool. Wait, let me let me let me let me let me You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Thumbnail. The ruins of Las Vegas. Now that's that's perspective. That depends if anything else more exciting happens before the end of the video. I'm interested in this. Is this going to be much quicker than the last one? Obviously, to get um, Aether, we had to go through tons of stuff. Hmm. Oh, there's a ladder there. <laughs> Always the last thing I look for, really. The ladder. Camping gear. Hmm. Looks like there's something behind that tarp. I was out of. I was so close. Oh, to drowning, maybe. Not not to the embers. M Moreland, it's over. Well, not for me, it's not. Then you're going to die, alone, because we're not sticking around to fish out the corpse. We're through. And so the visionary's fate hung in the balance. Would he choose life or succumb to deadly delusion? <clears throat> Hello. So... There's an ancient city under the sand, but it's flooded. Suddenly, a Nora Spear Maiden appeared. Yeah, okay, um... <laughs> well, you're not typical Delvers. That's for sure. What's this? Uh, I... I call it a diving bubble. 
This is the Mark I. The Mark II was better, but uh, it got stuck halfway down. Air tube snagged. You went down in that. Yeah, I hardly expect a lay person to understand. Because that's pretty smart. Uh, I'm sorry. May I remind you, you got stuck inside and nearly drowned. It'd have to be portable, though. Mm. Machine kneecap, maybe? Well, you'd need a filter. Synthetic membrane would do it. With a hose to a compressed, compressed air, air capsule. capsule. Hammer and tongs. What is this? What is happening here? What? Get over here. <laughs> She's a stranger. You got a name? Aloy. Moreland. Not a stranger anymore. You're a damn fool. Come on. I got the original schematics over here. Oh, um... Well, hold on. Just a couple of questions first. Fair enough. Partner? Partner? <laughs> Don't mind him. That was such a well-acted little cutscene. What's so important down there that you'd risk your life? Uh, uh well... <clears throat> uh. Moreland, I'm not interested in salvage, okay? Whatever you find below is yours. Well, all right. Then what if I told you we were delving for the most spectacular treasures ever scribed by man or a maid? I'd say get to the point. No nonsense. I like it. Behold, an ember. Looks like a piece of junk. Well, now, yes, but, but, but with the proper spark. These magnificent creations of the old ones paint mesmerizing pictures in the air, and the ruins below us are full of them. A feast for the eyes beyond description. This is my old Gramps promise me. It sounds like those are the things we've been collecting in the ruins above land as well, you know, the holographic projector things. How did your grandfather discover these embers? He was here. Forty odd years ago, he, he was one of the first to lead a delving party into the West. He discovered the ancient city around us, plumbed the depths of this very structure. He found the hollow underneath and the glowing embers all about. Took as many as he could and brought them home. He always wanted to come back and get more, but, well, he never scraped up the shards. What he really wanted to do was use the embers to put on a show. One unlike the world has ever seen. Sounds like quite a guy. He was a true delver. And a true showman. And I miss him. But I will do him proud. I will gather the embers and put on a spectacle that would have amazed even him. With your help, of course. So what exactly happened down there? It was a delve like no other. A chance to follow my old Gramps' footsteps. Beneath this structure here is an enormous hollow, a dome protected from the sands. We built this elevator here to ensure easy egress and exit. It's quite a contraption, actually, and not so easy to... Right. Again. What happened? At the bottom. We beheld the treasure my Gramps first discovered. Painted images in the air of every description. Dancing women, and games and coins and promises of jackpots. I don't know what that is, but it's got to be good. But then, something went wrong. The images turned nautical. Waves went through them, even fish. Like a strange underwater dream Poseidon's dream yes well suddenly there was this terrible rushing sound and then an explosion of water erupted from the floor so water just shot up from the floor and filled the place up it was a raging flood unlike anything I've seen we ran like forge fire and barely made it up the elevator as a wave just crashed beneath us. Shaken, 
but not stirred. I, I, I built the diving bubbles Mark I and Mark II. I tried the descent in each, but I nearly drowned both times. Abbot Dunn's beside himself. He thinks I'm insane. But I can't give up now. I, I, I've, just, I've come too far, and the embers are just barely within my reach. Well, maybe I can help. Yeah. Maybe you can. So these embers project images? Paintings of light. It's amazing stuff. This one showed the most beautiful woman you've ever seen, beckoning all to a buffet of lobster and succulent beefs. <laughs> I must have watched it about a hundred times as a child in my old Gramps workshop. What happened to it? Over time, they die out. I cried the day that this one's light faltered. But there are many more below. As you'll see, if you get down there like I did and my old Gramps before me. You guys don't seem like average Delvers. We're not really Delvers at all. We're, we're showmen. Like performers? You're Nora, and thus unfamiliar with the arts. We stage spectacles all around the claim. Stemmer tells stories, which I augment with all manner of sounds and fireworks, and Abadund, he, well, Complains? He handles the money, which amounts to about the same thing. When we delve, it's to find gear for my theatrics. Which makes this delve the most important one of all. How deep is it? Can't I just swim down? Only if you have gills. You can stack 50 kegs in that shaft. Leave it to the Osserum to measure something in kegs. Talking liquid depths. I'd say it's apt. Apt or not, sounds too deep to hold my breath. Hence, our new invention. I'd better get after those parts. There's a fully intact compressed air capsule in the Mark II, but like I said, it's stuck in the shaft. Well, if you made it back up alive, I should be able to swim down that far. All right. As for the other parts, Stemmer scouted a herd due south of here that should have what we need. I'm on it. Great. I'll come back when you get the gear. Good hunting. Thanks, Marland. Finally gonna learn the deep dive. The huntress approached. Her appearance is sudden as a spark of destiny. When the delve was at its direst. That's, uh, quite the introduction. Hmm. Maybe, uh, maybe a little internal rhyme instead. A maiden arose from the very sands that bore our woes. Nah, too trite. What is it with you and all the uh, words? That's what I do. The stalwart storyteller gazed upon the maiden with well-earned pride in his life's work. Stemmer Wordsmith, at your service. How did you end up following Moreland out here? Bright-eyed Moreland held his dreams aloft like a burning candle. And where that light went, the hearts of men were sure to follow. So you had admire him? Admiration is but a gentle fire. It's the spark that delvers and tinkers and rogues alike are sure to warm to. Okay, guess that answers something. Your friend over there doesn't like me too much. The loud one. The old bee counter has the personality of a moss-eaten rock. <laughs> but oh, 
What a wicked mind for money. And a memory as long as life, or even the smallest debt. Uh, by that, he means he owes me shards. 147, to be exact. But as sharp as he was in things pecuniary, he had a dull forgetfulness for how many times a certain wordsmith saved his hoary hide. 147! 147. What exactly does a wordsmith do? Well, uh, like a tinker at the forge. A wordsmith hammers out words to entrance all who hear them. The young, the old, and frequently the inebriated. I didn't take the Osram for storytellers. Well, uh, they say the only thing makes a cold brew go down easier is a tale of times gone by. But it's always best to hit the road before the keg runs dry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, w why? Why is that? Oh, oh well, the Osram could get mighty agitated if they run out of drink, or if they don't like your story. So you're saying being a wordsmith can be dangerous? Oh, yeah. Story goes the wrong way, Osram will throw stuff at you. What, like fruit? More like chairs or grenades. But the veteran wordsmith persevered through it all, hammer in hand, ready to give as good as he got. How do you think we got here all the way from the claim anyway, past those blasted machines? It wasn't by talking. You're a bit of an oddball, buddy, but I do like you. Got to go see someone about an underwater city. And lo, the huntress went forth. <clears throat> huntress is better than maiden. Maiden feels. Oh, you're a hunter, sail man. <laughs> hunter, f uh, maiden feels derogatory. Probably get a, a guest list of fifty. <laughs> so we need at least three dozen kegs. <laughs> Brown ale, maybe. Uh, no, no, for him. Scrapper sap. Are you planning a party? Budgeting for Moreland's funeral, thanks to you. I was this close. We were gonna move on, leave all this nonsense behind, and you come along uh, and you spark your wet noodle idea. It's going to work. I've heard that before. I'm always willing to engage in some commerce. Okay. Adhesive warrior bow. Interesting. Might pick that up. Ice storm bolt blaster. Hmm. Thunderbolt shredder gauntlet. That's interesting. A thunder shredder. I can buy both of those. Because I've got so many shards, I'm back to like, you know what, just buy everything. <laughs> if it's an epic, I'm going to buy it. I need a Bayamoth Circulator. I don't really care about buying it per se, but we are going to buy it. <gasps> what is this? No, it's Resonator stuff. It's a, it's a melee set. Eh, I mean, it's pretty good for a melee set, though. Resonator Blasts Plus, Resonator Buildup, Energized Duration, that's all really good melee stuff. It's tempting. Oh, I've already got that, it's a job, don't I? Yeah, I remember. I kind of regret buying these weapons. <laughs> I already regret this, if I'm honest. Like, this was this was a bad idea, in retrospect. I feel silly now. Although it means I can sell this. So that one's a better version of that, basically. So many coils. Okay. Oh, self, yeah. It feels like we're finally actually making money from those resources for like the first time. So, uh, how does someone like you end up working for someone like Moreland? I work with Moreland. 
We got three equal claims in this venture. I saw one of his early shows. Back when it was... It was just him and his inventions. Works of flame, lights, and shadows, all kinds of gizmos. Never seen the like. But the man is all spectacle. No sense. Bleeds shards like... like... You get the idea. Without me to handle the finances, his dreams would be sunk. More sunk. Wish we were back in the claim. Plenty of normal shows to do without the... the salvage from this blasted place. And yet, you're here, in the middle of the desert, delving for his dream. It was a good one. But sometimes, a dream has to die. This dream of Moreland's... ...is going to get him killed. Let's say it doesn't. What happens after he gets the salvage down there? Then we put on the greatest show the world's ever seen. We'll have... We'll have special seating, a premium ale, the works. Moreland will do his... his light spectacle... thing. Stemmer will get their eyes a sparkling with his tails and... I'll be selling tickets. <laughs> It's a nice thought, anyway. Moreland mentioned you were showman. What? An ostrom can't be anything other than a... a, a delver, tinker, or drunkard? <laughs> okay, sure, we are delvers, too. But that is not our main source of income. Mostly, we go town to town, putting on shows. These shows, what are they? What happens at them? Tales and spectacle. Uh, um, Moreland's got the technical know-how. Builds uh, all manner of inventions, whirly gigs of, of light and sound, cannons that, that, that shoot fire and showers of sparks and stemmer. Keeps them enthralled with tales of adventure in the smoothest baritone. Yeah, that. And you? Me. Who do you think handles the financials for the whole blasted thing? <laughs> those two... Eh, those two might have the, the sparks, but... Do you think they know their way around shards? <laughs> do you think... No, they don't. <laughs> These were all very well voice acted. So Moreland was down in this ancient city and... The three of us went down below. You? I can delve too. Right. And, uh, then what happened? What do you think? Water rushed in, we ran. Then... Moreland built that blasted thing. Nearly got himself drowned. Twice. He... You want the finer details of his stupidity? You go ask him. I'll leave you alone. Do us a favor. Leave us all alone. And now my idea deals adhesive build-up now available. Hit fast-moving enemies with adhesive to build up to the slowed state. Once in the state, enemy movement is slowed and makes them easier to target and track. Target. So, yeah, let's go out there first. We'll go there first. Let's go Back to the world. machine herd. It should be south of here. Herd of what? We don't know. <laughs> is this a ruin? There's a Cyclops drone monitoring this area. I need to grab its data. <laughs> this pig is wild. <laughs> What's it? Okay, wait, you need to calm down, pig, because I need to go to this herd, and I'm going to want to sneak up initially. I suspect you're not going to really play nicely with that idea, are you? Whoa, 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 Nelly. Okay. Yeah, I've 
I'll just assume this is it. Over here somewhere? I'm not sure which one, but one of these should work, right? I might have been too far away. Just depends where it stops, really. Viva Las Vegas! Come on, buddy. Come on. You're mine. Taking you with me. <laughs> Got it. Yeah, this will be a really cool backdrop. Las Vegas backdrop for the, uh, the Gaia room. I should grab the drone's data now that it's down. Cheers, buddy. And that looks to be about it. We'll grab that campfire as well. There's so many campfires, actually. It's kind of crazy. If you think about it. If you just think just, just think about it, it's crazy. If you don't think about it, it's probably not that crazy. Five out of ten. Five down, five to go. I am very curious how far we are in the game. I did predict, or at least I said to myself... For some reason, yesterday, I think it's probably a 70, 80 hour playthrough. I guess based on other people like platinum. Like, over, I know people who've platinumed the game. And I think that's roughly what it took them. Might take a little bit more than that. Might take a little bit less. Doesn't really matter either way. Well, this is where Moreland said the herd would be. They must have moved on. Uh -huh. I need to pick up their trail. Better look for tracks. Hmm. Well, it's not a track, but it's a generous supply cache. 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 Oh, there you are. Cache, why'd you leave me? If I was machines tracks, where would I be? There. Hmm. Oh. Tracks should lead me to the herd. Herd of what though? <laughs> we don't know what it is we're tracking. It says herd, so I assume it's something moderately chill, right? Like it's not gonna be a Sand herd of thunder jaws. That would be nonsense. It's a flying peccary. <laughs> it must be killed. There's the herd. I should have the parts I need. A whole bunch of boys here. Frost Clint Hawk. Oh, Purge Water Canister Borrower. Billions of those. Uh, what am I doing? More machines? I better deal with them first. Kill the machine herd, kill the machines optional. I'm <laughs> not so sure about that one, game. Come on, buddy. How cool does that look in that lighting? Very cool is the answer. Don't look this way. Oh, I'm here. oh, what are you doing? Just had to turn around, didn't he? Just had to bloody turn around. Alright, you. What are you weak against? Fire! Hello. Okay, got them all. Where did the herd oh, go? right, okay. So I'm just killing. Okay, so I could have ignored these and just followed the herd along. That's what it means. I got you, Aloy. I got you. I was never really likely to do that, if we're honest. Let's get rid of that crest, that bell. 
Was a marker. Okay. On we go. <laughs> that might have seemed excessive, but that's just because you, you don't know. You, know, you can't trust the scorpion. Right? You never know what they're up to. Oh, just proper glaring at me. Could shoot it with fire. Partially on. Oh, I, I got it already, didn't I? Yeah, I remember. Sneak attack. Sneak attack. Somehow doing a sneak attack. Eh. You have to get really close for that. Oh, I remember what I was going to get. I was going to get the ability to, um... Fire multiple fire arrows at once, right? <laughs> no regrets. Got a piece of it. A little frosty. One synthetic membrane. Better check the other machines. One of them might have a kneecap I can use. <laughs> Such a strange sentence. <laughs> Me a long leg. We don't see many long legs. There we go. Ah, oh, just about got there. Say, take that on a machine. Are you boys weak, guys? Ah, bear with me. Thank you. No balls for you, son. Overdrawn, other than back on the initial hit, overdrawing doesn't feel particularly useful to me, it must be said. 40 versus 45 damage, so, you know. Not really a big difference. Give me your kneecaps, please. <laughs> All I want is your kneecaps. It's a humble request. One that we've all felt before, you know. It'll turn out to be on that bloody glint hawk that went miles away. Um, um, <laughs> um, just the bellow back. I'm back. The kneecap. Hey, okay, that takes care of the machine parts. Just got to grab the compressed air. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, uh, grab that. Apparently, I didn't get that one. From Moreland's diving bubble. Let's go! Quite excited to be able to finally do this. And I'm assuming. I think all the unlocks are basically tied to the main quests, right? Although the first one wasn't really tied to Aether, but I'm assuming that the, um, the. 
the the metal flower one that's been bugging me for the entire game. I'm assuming I unlock that on the um, Aether Poseidon. What's the third one called? It's not Aletheia. It's not Apollo. It's not Artemis. How can I remember all of them <laughs> except that one? What is it? No, I will remember. I won't remember. Oh, beautiful. I'm not going to remember. <sighs> Wait, do I want a screenshot of the Tower of Tears? It looks pretty cool in that lighting. It's very dramatic. The Tower of Tears. We want those two. Um, oh. Right, okay. It was it was the it was a water one, the air one. It had a stupid name. I can't remember. I'm sad. It's not the best way to find out, I'm not going to lie. Eh? Demeter! Damn you, Demeter. Demeter. Demeter, Demeter, whichever you want, you know, live the dream. Open your stash, ba ba boom, lovely stuff. Uh, let me just double check. Do I have any need for this? Okay, that's why we need the rock breaker, I remember. Which we should probably go do, because that is something I need to upgrade. That's my new melee set. So this is my general set. That's my melee set. This is my mounted set. Stormbirds and Stalkers, that's a tough one to level up, though. And that's my melee set. <laughs> well, this one and this one I feel are quite close. Although I do prefer this one. I like that one visually. That looks awesome. And it's called Dragoon, which is pretty cool. Why do I have you anymore? I don't know. I'm honest. I'm going to try not to get rid of them anymore, but I am going to put them in the box. And that includes some of these weapons that I don't need. Is that... I think they're worth buying because what if I need them in the future, right? What if there's like a thing for an adhesive weapon? You know, like a, a challenge. Same with this. Same with this as well. What do I use for plasma at the moment? Do I use anything? Or maybe I want to keep the bolt blaster actually. What would I get rid of? Probably this. I don't want really to use this. Because it's equipped so annoyingly. Yeah, I can't remember the last time I used that rope caster. And it's a blue, and nobody likes blues. Blues are for nerds. So yeah, I mean, we'll store it if we need it later. It's still there. That, that, that's definitely get away from a more place. logical idea. Well. And we should be able to upgrade this a little bit, yeah. Overjaw damage. I need a clamber jaw tail. Do What's a clamber jaw again? It's a monkey. <laughs> Good thing that Aloy. Sh I'm right here. Don't talk about me like I'm not here. Um, okay, so you've got a fire coil in at the moment. You've got a acid coil. Your general damage. General damage. Your frost and acid. I probably don't need two with acid focused. 1478, 1485. So your purge water, not acid, I think. Yeah. Which means I can swap that for that. It makes more sense. Do I have plasma? <gasps> Look at that. What a cheeky. Oh. Amazing. Perfect. Wait a minute. <laughs> Sorry, what's this? Special gear. Oh, it's like quest items, right? Didn't I have a quest to go get a better... Is that the bow? It's because I don't know what a tide ripper is, isn't it? Gosh darn it. We okay, right. <laughs> Let's get a move on. The sojourn in the desert. The crustier, the shard part of me. Down, down, deeper and down. Down, down, deeper and down. 
down, down, deep one down. I really like that. The the light underwater looks really cool. Swim, Aloy, swim. Swim. Molland, make Got me breathe, buddy. Castle. I should have all the parts to build this thing now. What can I do for you, partner? I've got everything I need to build the... Uh, the incredible diving mask. I think diving mask is enough. I won't quibble. The workbench is all yours. Yeah, there we go. So we've got the igniter, the pull caster. Eventually, I'm assuming that's the, the metal flower, but this is our uh, diving mask. Cool. There's a marvel. If it works, you'll let me try it? I want to get down there and get those embers. Assuming I don't drown. So what are you really looking for down there? It's hard to explain. Something that caused a malfunction in the apparatus that controls the old city. I think it started the flood. Well, I, I thought we started the flood. Like we sprung a trap. I don't know how we were detected. Like I said, the dancing lights around us changed, turned to sea life. There was this flash of red, and the roar of water surging in. Wait, a flash of red? A, a red light, from a spot uh, near the grate on the floor where the water burst through. It was like a beacon. <sighs> or a warning. Thanks, that might help. I hope it does. And good luck down there. Okay. Time to see if this thing works. Yeah, I'm going to assume it does. Uh, we're going to just gonna do other things because uh, we've only got a few minutes left and I'd rather... I don't want to start the actual quest, you know. That was weird. <laughs> I wish games didn't do that. I understand that games kind of have to do that to, to function, but... Something's holding up. They have the color. Oh, this, you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of like um, Army of the Dead. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, we'll just have a little poke around for a few minutes. Where's my. Where's, where's Nando gone? I couldn't get rid of the bloody thing earlier on. <laughs> Probably off fighting some machines somewhere. I should have summoned him actually. I'm very curious now that we've set him to aggressive about that new thing. Curse you, Metal Flower! <laughs> Curse you! All I know is pain. Okay, sure. Let's just go grab that one. Oh, we've got some skill points as well. I want to grab, I think it was in Warrior. Uh, it's a technique for... No, that one's rubbish. Burst fire? Yeah, that's what I want. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. So look, three weapons... It's really... I, I, to be fair, I have not focused on weapon techniques at all. Oh, we're very nearly finished the warrior tree. It's probably worth doing because I'm sure there's an achievement for that. I say nearly. Oh, it's because I've not got these. Yeah. Uh. Hmm. Interesting, actually. What do I want to put points in? <laughs> like I could not possibly tell you at this point in time. Is it? Is it just weapon techniques? Low health melee is okay. No, I think I probably want to go into here, don't I? That's what I said. More health on my machines. Come on, Nando. I'm not gonna ride you, but you can you can hang around. You're very excited, little piggy, I know. Be impossible to mount anyway. <laughs> Keep, oh, is that another metal flower? <laughs> is that another goddamn metal flower? Why is life so painful? Why are you doing this to me, game? I think these aren't even like a big deal, larger. I think it's, you know, just small things. But still! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> I think that, you know, kind of like the igniter, like you need it, it's fundamental for some parts of the game. 
But by and large, if you see like the igniter in the field, it tends to be like a, just a, like an item, like a chest, basically. It doesn't tend to be like a, a huge thing. Whoa. That's weird, because the light, oh my god, this place looks, is that a bridge? What's that over there? Oh yeah. Let's see if we can get some of these rock breaker claws we need. Piggy, I need you to calm down. Can I like unsummon it? Nope. Right, we're looking for the mining claws. Oh, there's four of them. Interesting. It's been a while since I've seen a rock breaker. Oh, they're still mean and ugly. I didn't really mean to do that, honest. Okay, I think I've got three already. Let's get some damage in there while I can. I think it's only got one claw left. Yeah, there. Alright, sweet. Piggy! <laughs> You've been so aggressive for so long and I ain't not doing anything. Go on, Piggy. Nando. Okay, and that last claw's been quite difficult, I think. What? Come on! Come on! Ow. No! I missed! Urgh. Life is pain. Ah! <laughs> I know I don't even need it necessarily, but I want it! I'm a piggy! Lando! You're okay, boy. You're okay. Yeah, there we go! Oh! Oh, that helps. You're a big boy, aren't you, Rock Breaker? Don't go fight any of us, all right? If you need repairing, you okay? That costs an absolute goddamn fortune. I'm never doing that ever again. <laughs> By no metric is that worth doing. My god. What absolute insanity. This cost me like 500 shards for a, to repair a mountain that I'll just get another one off anyway if I want. Madness. I'm gonna find these other. Wait, there's one over here. There's one there. I only need three, but I may as well get four if I can, right? I definitely knocked off four. It's a case of finding the bloody thing. Rock breaker, buddy. Where did you put your feet? Look at it. Look at that mouth. <laughs> I really want to make reference to a particular subreddit. <laughs> People will know what I mean. There it is. Here we go. I can head back. And we can upgrade our gear. Oh, 
Oak Ridge of Gears in the Tower of Tears. Whoop, whoop. Sorry. <laughs> and it's the one I'm wearing, so that's really good, actually. Uh, deep Concentration plus two, that is... Whew. That's pretty great. I need Apex Elemental, Claw Strider Heart. That's not that bad. I can do that. Yeah, I think I'm... I'm I think we're focusing on this one now, basically. Even the minus resistances aren't that bad, but the impact resistance is insane. Going to go up to 50 and Valor Surge Master, which... Yeah, Valor Surge is cool. I like my Valor Surges. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm putting away the other armor set. This doesn't have any use for me anymore. I care about that. Unless it covers a... Right, so... Fire is covered by that. Frost is covered by that. Lightning covered by that. Purge water covered by that. Acid covered by that. Plasma covered by absolutely none of them. <laughs> That's actually my best plasma resistance one right there. Yeah, so you're gone. Resonate damage. Wait, not you. You're my melee one. You? No, you. You. Yeah, I just, I don't think... I think low health range plus two, low health valor plus two, valor search master, concentration regen, weapon stamina plus, deep concentration, which again I think is pretty great. I need to take the uh, weave out first. And it's still, oh, it does get stealth tab plus though. Uh, no. I'm sure there's better stealth sets. The idea is very much to have a good stealth set in the end, but we're not there yet. And it's not this. It's never going to be this, I don't think. No, not really. Goodbye, buddy. Melee, mounted, general. And let's see if we want to change up the weave on this. I change that one. Increases the level of the deep, causes of concentration to deplete. Yeah, that's so good. <laughs> it's crazy good. It really is. Can I do better on this? I could put plasma defense on if I needed to. Hmm. Is that too much? Yeah, I've lost. So I waste one. Is one concentration regen worth more though? It might be. What I'd love is a weave that's like one concentration regen, one something else, I guess, would be really good. Guess that's fine. The last thing I want to do, I keep thinking of new things I want to do. What now? Alright, calm down. I'm always willing to engage in. Well, I know you are, so why are you give me chip? <laughs> I need to sell some of these weaves. Sell that as well, as well. Are you green? If you're green, you die. And also if you're a weaker version of one I've already got. I don't care about that. I don't care about that. I don't care about that. I don't care about that, actually. I'm just keeping like the best version of everything. I've never seen Berserk ammunition, I think. Reload speed plus 25. That's an interesting one. I'm not sure I like it, but it is interesting. There we go. I'll be go final. <laughs> it's no need. I just, I just thought, can I not upgrade? Can I really not upgrade any of these? Oh, no, it's, this is complex stuff, yeah. Remind me, remind me. The other thing we need to do is, um, I'm just gonna save it, is uh, go to a die person and get this outfit that I'm wearing here. Get it changed up. I'm gonna go for that lovely dark blue. Anyways, we will end it there. Thank you very much for joining me. Successful episode. We got deep diving. We finally upgraded. This outfit, which I think this will last me quite a long time. The skills on it are pretty good. I think it could be better, but the skills on it are pretty good. It looks cool. Those are the fundamentals, really. And, 
We're going to go deep diving, check out these glowing things, and hopefully find ourselves Poseidon. Thanks for joining me. Cheers, much as always. Bye-bye.